Good morning. Hope everyone is having a good Sunday morning. Today begins what many around the world celebrate as Holy Week. Many refer to today as Palm Sunday. And this morning we're going to take a little bit of time to read that story from the Gospel of Matthew. This week as a church we are focusing on the passion of the Christ. And that word passion is a Latin term and what it means is suffering. So we're taking time to look at the suffering of Christ this week. And of course that begins in the account of Palm Sunday. So if you have your Bible, I encourage you to open it up to Matthew 21. We're gonna read verses one through 11. It says, as they approached Jerusalem, and came to Bethpage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there, with her coat by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, tell them that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. Say to the daughter of Zion, See, your king comes to you, gentle and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. I want to pause there to express some thoughts. So Jesus, you know, he had been leading his earthly ministry, and he knew that his life on earth was about to end. He was about to hand it over, give it up, so that man would be free from sin, so that man would be saved. So he knew the significance that day as he entered Jerusalem and what it meant. And, you know, this just shows his uh, power. It shows him as the Messiah and telling his disciples to go ahead of him and telling them he knew what they were going to find there. He knew that they were going to find a donkey with its colt. You know, he had those powers. He had uh, God's all-knowing, and that is certainly expressed through Jesus. And, of course, we know that him uh, entering Jerusalem on this donkey filled scripture, and that scripture was quoted in the verses we just read. And we're going to um, talk a little bit more about that here in a second, but there's big significance to him entering the city on a donkey. All right, picking back up in verse 6. It says, The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and colt, placed their cloaks on them, and Jesus sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, <coughs> Hosanna to the Son of God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. So again, thinking about Jesus entering the city on a donkey. And we talked about how that fulfilled scripture that had been prophesied about. And you know, the Pharisees and teachers of the law, they had been studying this prophecy and they knew what to expect from the Messiah when he entered Jerusalem. So this was something they had studied about. This was something that they knew about. And, you know, it talks about how a large crowd had gathered at Jerusalem to greet Jesus into the city. This would have been a very serious time for Jesus, a very solemn time because he knew what lied ahead. He knew his suffering, the passion was about to begin. But um, the thing with the people who had gathered there, the crowd, you know, they were clueless in a lot of ways about who Jesus was. They saw Jesus entering their town as a king. They saw Jesus entering their town as someone who was coming to save them. That's what Hosanna means. It means to save. 
Uh, it means to praise. It means to deliver. So when they saw Jesus, they thought he was entering Jerusalem to save them from the Roman government because we have to remember at this time they were under the rule and reign of Roman government. So when they saw Jesus, they saw him coming to deliver them from what they were experiencing. Um, and going back to the significance of the donkey, you know, when a lot of kings would enter a town or after they had been victorious in war, whatever the case may have, may have been, they would often enter a town riding a horse. Uh, maybe they would have chariots. But Jesus entered, again, on a donkey. And this shows his humility. It shows um, he was one coming to bring peace, not war. It shows his lowliness. So there's a lot of symbolism surrounding him entering the city on a donkey. It talks about how they um, were waving palm leaves and some, some of them laid them in his pathway. They were also laying down uh, coats and cloaks. And those palm leaves during that day would represent goodness or victory. So again, it all ties to who they thought Jesus was and what they thought he was bringing to their town. But what's so ironic, again, is who they thought he was. They didn't know, they didn't begin to know what Jesus was bringing to them. He had been telling them as he went about his earthly, earthly ministry what was to come, but they did not fully understand. Um, as he entered the city that day, they were excited they were shouting things like, Hosanna. They saw things from an earthly perspective. But by the end of the week, we know that Jesus is suffering. We know that the same people who were shouting Hosanna at the end of the week were some of the same people shouting, crucify him, crucify him. And so I want us to, uh, to take time today to reflect on what Jesus has brought to our lives, how so many times during our lives we've probably been confused about who Jesus is. Uh, maybe we've tried to make him into things that he's really not. And so this morning I encourage us to again reflect on these accounts, reflect on the passion of the Christ. We're going to be doing this each day this week. We're going to have some different people do some videos, and of course Wednesday night we're going to have our candlelight passion of the Christ service, but spend time reflecting on the passion, the suffering of the Christ, and thinking about what he has truly brought to our lives, and that's victory over sin and victory over death. Like I said, sometimes we just try to make Jesus into so many different things. Maybe we've been misled about who he is, but God's word gives us a clear picture of who he is, what he came here to do, what he's doing in our lives now, and what he's going to bring to us. Hope everybody has a great Sunday worshiping him. Hope to see everybody here shortly. I'm just going to end this in a quick prayer. Let's bow. Father, we thank you today for your love and for your grace. Father, we thank you for Jesus and him being king. Father, this morning we do say to you, Hosanna, because Jesus did bring deliverance. He brought salvation. And Father, we are praising you today for what we have through him. Father, help us to know his suffering. Help us to know what he endured for us. And Father, we just pray that we hold those things dear in our heart. And Father, we pray that we celebrate them. We know that this time of the year becomes so many different things for so many different people, but we pray that we reflect on Christ even more this week, but just especially every day. We just pray that you'll forgive us where we fall short. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.